Friends, today we're going to hear a really, really old story that tells about a time long before you were born and before our parents were born and before their grandparents were born. This story is about a shoemaker. A shoemaker is a man who makes shoes. These days, shoes are made in factories by machines. A long time ago, people made shoes with their hands. They used tools and leather to make shoes for people to wear. This is a picture of a shoemaker. He makes shoes on his workbench. That's that table we see back here with all his special tools where he works to put the leather together and the wood to hold the shoes together and make and fix different things. Now today we're going to listen to a story called The Shoemaker and the Elves. The characters in this story are a shoemaker and his wife. Remember, characters are people that a story is about. There's also some secret magical characters in the story. Listen to the shoemaker and the elves and see if you can guess who the magical characters can be. Every time we learn a story, we learn new words. My friends say evening. This is the end of the day when the sun goes down and it gets dark outside. My friends say morning. This is the beginning or the start of the day when the sun comes up and the light comes outside. My friends say perfect. That means just right, just like the baby bear we read a long time ago. My friends say poor. That means if you don't have a lot of money to buy things to buy things. My friends say worried. That means when you think about some bad things that could happen, you get worried. Let's look at pictures. My friends say evening. We see the moon and it's dark outside and they're getting in the bed. My friends say perfect. This man has on a shoe and it fits just right. My friends say poor. They don't have lots of money to buy different things to make their shoes. And my friends say worried. Look at the woman's face. She does not look happy. She's thinking that something bad might happen. Evening. Perfect, poor, worried, and mourning. Tell your mommy. The shoemaker hoped he could sell his last pair of shoes. He needed to make enough money to buy food for dinner. So he started to cut the leather to make his shoes. When he finished, he sat down on his workbench. It got very late, so he decided he was going to finish in the morning. He hugged his wife and went to bed. Early the next morning, the shoemaker woke up and he got ready to sew his last pair of shoes. When he got to his workbench, his eyes fell upon the most beautiful pair of shoes he had ever seen. The shoemaker puzzled and puzzled over who could have made these beautiful shoes. Friends, who do you think made these shoes? Pause here. Later that day, a customer came into the workshop and he admired the beautiful shoes. They fit his feet so perfectly. They were just right. And he paid double the money for them. He paid more money 
than the price that he needed to pay for the shoes. He smiled at his wife. We now have enough money to buy leather for two more shoes, he said happily. There's even a little money left over to buy some food for dinner. That evening, just before the shoemaker cut leather for two more shoes, he left them on his workbench. When he laid in his bed, he thought of how he would sew both pairs of shoes the next morning. My friends, what do you think will happen when he puts those shoes down on his workbench? Pause here. <gasps> the next morning, the shoemaker woke up and saw two beautifully crafted pairs of shoes waiting on his bench. The shoemaker could hardly believe what he saw. Before long, two customers came to his workshop and bought the shoes. They were so thrilled and happy with the shoes that they paid a large price. They paid a lot of money. The shoemaker and his wife now had enough money to make four pairs of shoes and buy some bread for dinner. Remember, the wife was worried. How does she feel now? She looks happy. Now, what do you think? That night after dinner, the shoemaker cut the leather for four pairs of shoes and he left it for in the morning. He went to bed and fell asleep. What do you think will happen while the shoemaker is sleeping? Pause here and tell us. Early the next morning, the shoemaker woke up and found four pairs of the most exquisite, really beautiful and nice shoes waiting on his bench. The shoemaker sold all pairs by lunchtime. He now had enough money to make eight more pairs of shoes and to buy an apple pie for supper. He felt so happy now that he wasn't so poor. They had more money, friends. And so it went on. Night after night, the shoemaker cut the leather, and in the morning, the shoes were ready to be sold. The shoemaker puzzled and puzzled over who was making the shoes, but he could not figure it out. One evening, a few days before Christmas, the shoemaker had an idea. As he sat in front of the fire, he told his wife his idea. My friends, what do you think he could be thinking? 